boys and girls. I am Vijay Lakshmi from Skola Janis Kebangsaan Tamil Rawang. Today, I am your mathematics teacher and the topic for this lesson is length for year 3. With me is Mr. Saiful Amri bin Sailan from Skola Menenga Pendidikan Khas Vocational Shah Alam, our sign language interpreter. Alright, now let us start our lesson. Please make sure that you are prepared with few sheets of paper and pen or pencil. Let's have some fun. Boys and girls, look at these objects. Can you tell me what these objects can be used for? Yes, you are correct. We can use this to measure length. Today, we are going to learn how to convert units of length. The two units of length that we are going to learn in this lesson are meter and centimeter. We can use meter and centimeter to measure length, width and height. Before that, it's good for us to go through the objectives of today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to convert unit of length involving meter and centimeter. Convert unit of meter to centimeter using objects and vice versa. Solve problems in daily life situations involving units of length. We know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. We can also say that there are 100 centimeters in 1 meter. Look at this ruler. Shown in the picture, there are 100 graduations along the edge of the ruler. This indicates that 100 cm is equal to 1 meter. To convert meter to centimeter, we have to multiply by 100. Now, Let's look at this coil of rope. The length of the rope is 5 meters. What is the length of the rope in centimeter? Do you remember what we have just discussed? How do we convert meter to centimeter? Yes, we need to multiply by 100 to find the length of the rope in centimeter. We have to multiply 5 by 100. So, the answer is 500 centimeters. Boys and girls, we can also use addition to do this conversion. Here we go. You have learned that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Let's apply what you have learned to do the 
following conversion. To convert 5 meters to centimeter, we have to add 100 5 times. Let me show you how to do it. 100 centimeters plus 100 centimeters plus 100 centimeters plus 100 centimeters and plus 100 centimeters is equal to 500 centimeters. There, you can learn that. You can use addition or multiplication to convert units of length. Now, let's try this. What is the length of the ribbon in centimeter? Let's apply what we have learned just now. Remember that to convert meters to centimeters, you need to multiply by 100 to convert 18 meters to centimeter. We have to multiply 18 by 100. So, the answer is 1800 centimeters. Next, we will learn how to convert Centimeter to meter. 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So, to convert from centimeter to meter, we have to divide by 100. We can also say that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. Wow, you are doing great. Boys and girls, now let's try this. 700 centimeters is equal to how many meters? Remember, in order to convert centimeter to meter, we have to divide by 100. To find the answer, we have to divide 700 by 100. We cancel off two zeros. When we divide by 100, now only 7 remains. So, 700 centimeters is equal to 7 meters. Boys and girls, let's try this question. What is the height of the cupboard in meter? Remember, in order to convert centimeter to meter, we have to divide by 100. What should we do next? Excellent pupils, we have to solve this by cancelling off the zeros in 200. 200 centimeters divide by 100. What remains is 2. Therefore, 200 centimeters is equal to 2 meters. Boys and girls, I hope you can understand how to convert from meter to centimeter and from centimeter to meter from the examples which I have just shown you. Now, let's try this. The height of the tree is 280 centimeters. Convert the height of the tree in meter and centimeter. First, 
Let's write a statement using the information given. 280 centimeters in meter and centimeter. Next, we have to find out 280 centimeters is equal to how many meters and centimeters. To do that, we have to find out how many hundreds there are in 280. Remember, boys and girls, 280 has two hundreds and also we have another 80. Now, we can write down the following. 280 centimeters equal to 100 centimeters plus 100 centimeters plus 80 centimeters. We have learned that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So, now 200 centimeters is equal to 2 meters. We have to state the answer in meter and centimeter. Remember? So, the final answer will be 2 meters and 80 centimeters. Did you get the same answer? Excellent! Okay, boys and girls, now let's try this question. The length of the plank is 6 meters and 70 centimeters. What is the length of the plank in centimeter? So, what is the first step? Very good. We write a statement from the information given. 6 meters and 70 centimeters in centimeter. We can see clearly that the length of the plank includes both meter and centimeter. What is the next step? We have to convert 6 meters to centimeter. 6 meters is equal to 6 times 100 centimeters, which is equal to 600 centimeters. Lastly, we add 600 centimeters with 70 centimeters, which is equal to 600 and 70 centimeters. Now, boys and girls, you can see that conversion of length is not hard at all. I can just imagine your smiling faces out there. Today's lesson has helped you, hasn't it? Boys and girls, shall we try this? There are two conversion done by Lim and Amalia. Whose conversion do you think is correct, Lim or Amalia? Boys and girls, I can hear some of you are saying Lim. Yes. Lim's answer is correct, but Amelia's answer is incorrect. Excellent, boys and girls. Let's see why Lim's answer is correct. 375 centimeters has three hundreds, which is Three hundreds centimeters is equal to three meters. Remember, we have another seventy-five centimeters. 
So, the answer will be 3 meters and 75 centimeters. We can see clearly why Lim's answer is correct. Now, let's help Amalia to get the correct answer. We have to convert 6 meters to centimeter. But the 2 centimeters, we don't do anything since it is already in centimeter. To convert 6 meters to centimeter, we have to multiply 6 by 100 centimeters. Then we have to add 600 centimeters with 2 centimeters, which gives a total of 602 centimeters. Now the answer will be 602 centimeters. It's not that difficult, right? Thumbs up to those who have answered correctly. Boys and girls, how about trying this? Let's see what the number sentence says. 374 centimeters plus 220 centimeters is equal to how many meters and centimeters? The value are in centimeter, but the answer must be in meter and centimeter. How do we solve this problem? Since the two values are given in the same unit, we know that we can add up by arranging the values in vertical form. Let's do it. 374 centimeters plus 220 centimeters is equal to 594 centimeters. The answer is 594 centimeters. Now, let's work on converting 594 centimeters to meter and centimeter. I hope everyone is ready to do the conversion. 594 centimeters has 500 and another 94 centimeters. Since we have 500, it becomes 500 centimeters, which is equal to 5 meters. Therefore, 594 centimeters equal to 5 meters and 94 centimeters. So, the answer is 5 meters and 94 centimeters. Boys and girls, let's see the use of converting unit of length in daily life problems. Her girl's height is measured in centimeters, but for a school project, this needs to be shown in meter and centimeter. How to solve this? Yes, by converting units of length, we can solve this problem. Let's discuss this. Amira's height is 155 centimeters, but for a school project, her height needs to be in meter and centimeter. What is Amira's height in meter 
and centimeter. Here we go. 155 centimeters is equal to 100 centimeters plus 55 centimeters. As we have learned before, 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So, the answer is 1 meter and 55 centimeters. Boys and girls, it's easy, right? Now, it's the time for us to do some exercises. Let's convert. 9 meters to centimeter, 300 centimeters to meter, 3 meters 20 centimeters to centimeter, 723 centimeters to meter and centimeter. Let's check the answers. 9 meters is equal to 900 centimeters. 300 centimeters is equal to 3 meters. 3 meters 20 centimeters is equal to 320 centimeters. 723 centimeters is equal to 7 meters and 23 centimeters. Awesome! Great answers! Excellent! That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please remember to do extra exercises on your own. Have a nice day everyone. Remember, everything around us is mathematics and numbers. I will see you again soon. Thank you and bye. One 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 